In this video, we will be talking about the method of superposition. The method of superposition is an alternative approach used to solve for the overall deflection and slope of a beam caused by a series of separate loadings. In other words, we can superimpose the contributions of each load to obtain the overall deflection. For instance, let's take a look at this beam here. If you want to solve for the overall deflection produced by the distributed load W and the point load P, we could use the method of superposition to split up the beam into two manageable components. We could solve for the deflection for each component and then sum the results to get the final answer. In most cases, we can actually use deflection tables to obtain the corresponding equation for each type of loading. I'll go into more detail regarding the tables on the following slide. On this slide, I'll quickly go over the deflection tables. Alright, so these tables consist of the slopes and deflections for some common cases. The table includes a picture of the beam, along with the slope, deflection, and elastic curve equations for the corresponding loadings. And this table can be found in Appendix D of your textbook. If you can't already tell, we'll be using the equations under the corresponding beam and loads to solve for the deflection or slope for each component. Now that we have this table, we won't have to spend too much time trying to figure out the equations, and so this method is a lot easier than the integration method. However, there are a few requirements that must be met before we can apply these equations. I'll go into more detail about the requirements on the following slide. On this slide, I'll go over the requirements that must be satisfied in order to apply the method of superposition. Alright, so the first requirement is the load must be linearly related to the deflection produced by the load. And the second requirement is, when the loading is applied, it must not significantly change the geometry of the member. So if you look at the following differential equation, notice how the displacement function is linearly related to the load W, and the load is assumed not to significantly change the geometry of the beam. In other words, the assumption is made that the vertical deflection and slope are small in comparison to the overall length L, where L represents the total length of the beam. And this concludes the video regarding the method of superposition. In this video, we started off by talking about the general definition for the method of superposition. After that, we talked about the deflection tables and where it could be found. And then we concluded the video with the requirements that must be met if we want to apply this method. In the following video, I'll be solving an example for this section.